Asian Doll is a rapper from Texas who was raised on the south side of Dallas, Texas. She was noticed by fans several years back when she was around 17 or 18 years old. She came hard with the flows and waving guns around in her videos, just like the male rappers did. She received a lot of hate behind that, and at the same time gained a lot of fans too. She made songs for the ladies, fight music, and party music. Asian Doll first official take that made noise was The Rise of the Barbie Dog Gang Empire in 2015. The mixtape had 15 songs and got good reviews and feedback from the streets. Most of her early music videos are scattered around the internet. She was shooting videos from a lot of different cameramen and that helped her to spread her wave to different regions outside of the Dallas area. After a lot of other female rappers was putting guns in their videos too, she stopped doing that and just got more creative with her videos. She wasn't the first female to have guns in her videos, but she did it more aggressively and didn't do it just for the look. Cause periods. Who? Who effing with her? Too much. Doorway. Doorway. She came from a family of crips, so her lingo on certain matters stood out in her music and not too fabricated like most. During a period of time, the other female rappers, such as Molly Brazy and others, were making noise. Even her best friend Cuban Doll started rapping after their falling out. Online beef with her once friend Cuban Doll, another female rapper started taking over the narrative. She had one of the biggest fights at the South by Southwest event that went viral. Between the beats and the music, she still stayed focused. Fast forward to having a couple of projects under her belt, such as Dripping in Glow, Project Princess, Outer Space, and Kill Bill Volume 1. She became one of the most consistent out of the new group of female rappers and started getting a lot of respect from some of the male rappers who was real big at the time. PNB Rock, who was rumored to be dating her, tried to help her out. I'm a real Barbie, I do what I want. I'm a real Barbie, I do what I want. I'm a real Barbie, I do what I want. What do they talk about? When I come up, there were several other rappers that had the name Doll attached to their name, such as Dream Doll, Cash Doll, and Cuban Doll. There was some back and forth between the artists that went on for a while. Now they all established names and left all the back and forth alone. Asian Doll took the notice of Gucci Man and became his first female artist signed to the label. And then she released a project called So Icy Princess. She released two more projects under the 1017 umbrella. And after some things didn't work out, she asked to be released from the label. Now going by the name of Asian the Brat, all Asian doll. She went through a public relationship with the Chicago rapper King Vaughn. King Vaughn was making a lot of noise and then was killed outside a nightclub and the news shook the industry up. Asian doll was dealing with her pain through social media and a lot of people thought she was clout chasing but later understood that she was grieving and expressing it the only way she knew how. She got him tattooed on her in remembrance and a chain resembling them and she still posts moments of them together. She regrouped by releasing new music and doing shows and one of her biggest songs out right now takes King Vaughn's flow and style and she going crazy on the track. None of that shit is released under Dog Gang Records and she's currently on tour and booked up. So we're going to stay tuned to see what Asian Dog got next.